Warning, this is a comedy video about Dog the Bounty Hunter, I mean the Tiger King. Please take no offense or harm to none of the jokes mentioned in this video. I mean no ill will or hateful practices or harassment about anyone mentioned or joked about. Viewer discretion is advised. Bitch, Carol Baskin? Y'all seen that guy thing on documentary on Netflix called Tiger King? They need to call it Hillbilly King. Oh my God, this is the best, worst documentary I've ever seen in my entire life. I don't think I can make any jokes, y'all. This is not going to be a funny video. What, the, the documentary is, is all the jokes you need. Just watch the documentary. I ain't never seen nothing like this in my whole life. I ain't never seen nothing. It's hot as hell out here. I'm sweating all over my clothes. I got a, a wet spot. Look like I pissed myself through my booty pipe. Also, I, I got my goddamn camouflage vest. Because I want to look like my homeboy, Joe Exotic, the Tiger King. Did you watch the documentary? They got this guy named Joe Exotic that be kidnapping and taking care of little tiger clubs. He got his own zoo. I'm not going to tell you the whole storyline, because if I tell you the whole storyline, y'all going to look at me like I'm crazy as hell. The man name is Z Joe Exotic. He got this ugly ass mullet, a blonde mullet. He looked like, look like a wig. He looked like he got coronavirus all up inside of his booty pipe. I'm sorry, that's how he looked, y'all. He looked like if the Joker from the Dark Knight series was a hillbilly. That's how Joe Exotic looked. What can I say? This documentary is the most interesting documentary I've ever seen. Joe Exotic. What the hell is exotic about this dude? This dude be singing and stuff. He got his old, he got his old country ass voice. He be trying to sing. Nigga, that shit ain't interesting. You can't sing, bro. What you trying to sing for, bro? I'm trying to tell y'all that bitch Carol Baskin killed her husband, y'all. I'ma get the CSI on the case. But they locked Joe up. I'ma spoil the series for y'all. They, they locked his ass up for trying to kill Carol Baskin like she murdered her husband. See, that, that, that's why the world unfair. Joe Exotic could get locked up, but that bitch Carol Baskin can't get locked up. She remind me of a fat version of Cersei Lannister from the Game of Thrones. That's who Carol Baskin reminds me of. How, Carol Baskin ruined Joe Exotic. So Carol Baskin is like the queen of the trolls. She ruined Joe Exotic's entire career. I'm not saying Joe Exotic was a good man. I'm not saying he was a nice man. He was a nasty son of a He was disgusting. He had his own team of people working at his zoo, right? He had the most dysfunctional group of people. I, it looks like every single one of them people on their job application, they smoked meth before they sent in their job application. All of Joe Exotic, the Tiger King staff, were like, oh shit, a damn road. That crow almost came and pecked the hell out of my face. I'm sorry I'm making fun of the Tiger King. What you want me to do? But back to my point, Joe Exotic staff, Look like all of them got corona. All of them look like meth heads, crack heads. They look like they get paid with crack instead of paid with money. He got his staff living on the compound in trailers with no air condition. And for their payment, he give them expired meat from Walmart. Expired meat from Walmart. I can't make jokes about this stuff. The joke is in the documentary. That's the joke. He got amputees working for him. He had this one transgender worker that had his arm sliced the hell off by a tiger. And they went to the transgender worker. They said, we can fix your arm. It'll take two years of reconstructional therapy, but we can fix your arm. He said, two years? I got to get back to the work. Cut my arm off and let me get back to work. I said, what the hell? So the person arm is, he is an amputee now and went back to work in five days. You going back to work so you get some more expired meat and live in a trailer, a tractor trailer? Now you got a nub, now you got a nub. I hope you got some goddamn, I hope they increased his pay or gave him a better position in the compound, gave you an extra sack of expired meat or something. These people are all mentally challenged. No offense, they got something wrong mentally. Then they got this fat guy, there's this fat guy that has his own compound 
and he's like a fat pimp. He has his own lions, tigers, and bears, oh my. But he also grooming these young females to work on the compound. Females with big ass breasts. Breasts so big, look like they got two tigers on their chest. Where's the joke? I can't make jokes about this. There's no jokes I can make. And they got this other guy, I think he's Latino. That was the inspiration for the movie Scarface. He old as hell. I can't make jokes about this. Joe Exotic is a homosexual hillbilly. There's nothing wrong with that, but I never seen a homosexual hillbilly in my entire life. I never seen nothing like that. He had this gay hillbilly wedding with two meth heads. You can't make this stuff up. I can't make a joke. That's the joke. Watch the documentary. That's the joke. Carol Baskin basically, allegedly, allegedly murdered her husband. Allegedly murdered her husband. Her husband disappeared. Her hus she met her husband when she was 19. This sounds like a storyline from Game of Thrones. She met her husband when she was 19. He was 40 years old and she was 19, I believe. She meet him, then he goes missing. And before he went missing, he tried to get a restraining order against Carol and said she was trying to kill him. Two months later, he disappeared. Carol and her brother broke inside of the place where Don, her husband, had his living will, his will, and she doctored his will to include disappearance instead of death so she could co collect the $9 million that her late, departed, disappeared husband had. This sounds like a goddamn plot line from Game of Thrones. The Tiger King is like a mix between Duck Dynasty and Dog the Bounty Hunter, racist version. You notice you don't see no black people in the entire documentary, right? I wonder why. They fed them niggas to the goddamn tigers, I'm trying to tell y'all. Joe Exotic got his own singing career, sounding like a broke-ass white Tupac. Like, what's going on? Joe, it looks like Joe committed arsonist, com committed arson on his own property to destroy the tapes that he was making for his documentary. This is some goddamn hillbilly Game of Thrones stuff, man. Then by the end of the series, spoiler alert, Joe Exotic get locked up for 22 years for trying to murder that bitch Carol Baskin. But Carol ain't get locked up for trying to murder or making her husband disappear. You can't make this stuff up. Carol Baskin is the fat version of Cersei Lannister. Joe Exotic is the mentally challenged hillbilly version of Ned Stark. That fat Buddha looking dude, that fat white Buddha, Doc Antle, is like the straight version of Varys, but he has a penis. And they hanging around tigers and playing with tigers and high-fiving tigers. Are you out of your damn? Get the hell out of there! You crazy? I don't even like tiger teddy bears. I don't like stuffed tigers. I don't like goddamn frosted flakes because it got a tiger on the box. And you high-fiving and dancing with tigers? These people are missing chromosomes. These people are missing chromosomes. I can't make any more jokes. What joke can I make? The series is the joke. Watch the damn series on Netflix. That's the joke. It's the worst, best documentary I've ever seen in my life. I thought it was a comedy. I thought it was a lie. It's real. It's real. Joe Exotic is paying his staff in expired Walmart meat. You can't make this stuff up. Expired Walmart meat. Young transgendered staff member had an arm amputated. He wanted to go back to work. On the zoo, that his arm was, 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 chopped, was cut off by a tiger. You can't make this stuff up. This world is done. That's how coronavirus is spreading because we got people out there like Doc Antle and Carol Baskin and Joe Exotic. This is why they, one of Joe Exotic's husband got one tooth. His husband for 16 years got one tooth right here. They call him Snaggle Tooth. One tooth. Everybody snitched on Joe Exotic when the police came. The FBI came because he wanted to murder that bitch. Carol Baskin, the FBI came. Everybody started snitching on. Everybody was snitching. Everybody was getting their Takashi 69 on. All of them were Takashi 69 and Joe Exotic. And these celebrities on Joe Exotic's side, Joe Exotic needed to be released from prison. He needed to be for what? So he could sell some more expired Walmart meat? Y'all out your damn mind? I, I ain't got nothing else to say. Watch the documentary series. That bitch Carol Baskin is evil as hell. She mad at Joe Exotic because he Joe Exotic take care of animals, mainly tigers.
He has a whole sanctuary of tigers, a zoo. And he was making money, two grand, four grand, selling these tiger cubs. And letting people pet the tiger club, tiger cubs. Carol Baskin didn't like that. So she started following him around. Every time he had a club appearance or a mall appearance, she would follow him around and send thousands of emails to the malls to shut Joe Exotic down. She was messing with this man's money for like 10, 15 years. But when you look at Carol's compound, she got tigers in cages smaller than Joe Exotic. So what? She's a hypocrite. What? All of them are hypocrites. This doesn't make any, all of them are hypocrites. This doesn't make any sense. See, that's why I don't hang around animals. That's why I don't like animals, right there. I'm done now, that's my, that's my rant. There's nothing else for me to say. I hear a siren, so the police might be coming to come get my ass. Free Joe Exotic. I wanna see season two of Tiger King. Free him so, just so I can see season two of Tiger King. That's the only reason I want him free. I gotta get the hell out of here. I think they're coming to lock my ass up. I'm out this bitch. Lock that bitch Carol Baskins up. You know how bad Joe Exotic is? He give hillbillies a bad name. You, you know how terrible of a person you have to be to give hillbillies and rednecks a bad name? You gotta be pretty messed up. That's all I'm saying.